Statistics and Excel, Poisson Distribution, Potholes in Road Example. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, three tabs down below. Example, practice blank. Example, in essence, answer key, practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem. Blank tab, basically a blank worksheet, except for our image here, which you don't really need for the practice problem. So we can practice formatting the cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tab have to get an idea of where we will be going We're looking at the Poisson distribution once again oftentimes examples related to line rating situations as we saw in a prior presentation but we can also have situations over space so in this case we're talking about potholes in a road thinking about the mean number of potholes the average number of potholes being 20 for 100 miles of road as opposed to a line waiting situation where we were saying how many people will show up over a certain interval of time. Let's go back to the blank tab now and populate some of our data up top. So I'm gonna go into A1. Let's first format the entire worksheet like we normally do, selecting the triangle, right click it on the selected area. We're going to format the cells. I'm gonna to go to currency negative numbers bracketed and red no dollar sign i'm going to get rid of the decimals for now and add them as i need them okay let's go to the home tab font group and make the whole thing bold as well you don't have to do that but i will do that all right so here's our conditions we're going to say that the mean potholes potholes per 100 miles per i'm going to say per miles so that i can put them in a separate cell I'm going to make A a little bit larger. So the mean number of potholes I'm going to say is 20 per 100 miles. Okay, so now what I would like to do is kind of imagine, as we did last time, that we were actually going out and counting the potholes per uh, 100 mile. Now, in this case, to do that, to get a random generated number, we have to already have the mean but in practice, you might not know the mean, right? What would, what would we do to start this process? We might go out and count the potholes for every 100 mile interval and try to, and try to see what's the, what, how many potholes are in each of those 100 mile, mile intervals. And then with our data, we might plot our data to then see if it conforms with a Poisson distribution. And if it does, the Poisson distribution might be a way for us to, to more easily make projections and predictions into the future about the pothole situation. So let's do a random number generation which will mirror or mimic us basically going out and counting the potholes. To do that, we're going to go into the data tab and we need the data analysis. We saw turning that on last time. If you don't have that, you go to the file tab, you go to the options down below, and then you go to the add-ins, and then the manage, you want the Excel add-ins and go, and then you want the analysis tool kit. That's the one we want. Okay, so I'm gonna make A a little bit wider here. I'm gonna make my image uh, a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make column C a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put the data here, so this is gonna be my X data results let's format that first home tab font group i'm going to make it black and white which is our normal heading formatting let's center it as well and then i'm going to go into d2 because that's where i want the data to go insert i'm sorry not insert data up top and then we want to go into the analysis and the data analysis I'm going to do a random number generation and here's the criteria. I'm going to put a one here because we just want one column number of random uh, number of random numbers. Let's put let's put a thousand again. So we're just going to generate a thousand uh, numbers that we'll be doing those thousand numbers representing a thousand one hundred mile <laughs> tests that we did so that might be a fairly large test let's put like 500 like 500 uh 100 mile tests let's do that one 
and then it's not going to be a discrete. We want it to give it to us in accordance with a Poisson distribution, which still has an element of randomness, but it's going to be distributed according to a Poisson distribution with the lambda, the mean, being, we're going to say, 20. Now, again, in real life, we might not know the mean. We'd go out and count the potholes to basically figure this out, right? We would be counting every 100 miles uh, the number of potholes within each 100 mile frame. Let's go ahead and say, oh, where do I want it? The output, I want it to go right there. So that's where the output's gonna go. Okay, let's go okay and see what we get. So what's this mean then? It means that for the first 100 miles that we looked at, there were 18 potholes. Then there was 26 potholes in the second 100 mile space. The third mile, 100 mile space, uh, 21 potholes, 26 potholes in the next 100 mile space, and so on uh, and so forth. So now we can take this data and we can create our bins with it to see if we can see any patterns with that data and possibly if it corresponds to closely or relatively closely to some kind of distribution that we can make a function for, like the Poisson distribution. So let's say that we have our bins are, are going to be anywhere from, we're going to say, let's go from, I'll say 0, 1, 2, and I'm going to bring it all the way up to 100 here. So I'm going to select those three numbers, fill handle, drag it down to 100. Remember that in, in theory, there can be like an infinite number of potholes. The whole road could be a pothole, I guess, in theory, right? Because there's no upper limit if we're talking about a Poisson type distribution. But if the mean is 20, then you would expect you're not going to get, you know, it's going to be quite rare that you're going to have that you can have potholes more than like 100 potholes uh, in, in that interval, given if it's in a Poisson distribution uh, format. Now, remember, if, if we want the frequency, frequency, we could try to say I want to count these numbers and I could try to use a count if function equals count if brackets and the criteria range would be this i'm i'm going to hold down control shift down arrow getting down to the bottom control backspace going back to the top and then comma count that if the criteria is zero and i could say enter and copy that down now i'm not going to leave this as the way we do it because the other way is a spill function for the frequency I just want to show that sometimes this doesn't give us the result uh, that we would expect, right? So if I sum this up at the bottom by saying alt equals, I should get to 500 and I don't. And that's because sometimes I think that the distribution might give us a number that's not exactly 